Okay, so in this video we're going to look at how to work out an amount if you're told a percentage. So you can see in this first example we need to find 25% of 40. So it might be that you're downtown in the shops and um, you see a pair of shorts that you want to buy, they've got 25% off, but we want to know actually how much money is that that we're going to be saving. So the way we do that is, like up here in the green box, we multiply that percentage by the amount we're interested in, the, the total amount. Now, there's lots of different ways of doing this. We're just gonna show you one way of doing it today. And this way involves using your calculator. So when you're sticking it into your calculator, you need to change that percentage into either a fraction or a decimal. So when we come to work this one out, we're gonna change that 25% into a fraction or a decimal. Let's do the first one as a decimal. So 25% would be 0 0.25. And then we just multiply that by the $40. So if we do that, we get an answer of $10. So 25% of 40 is 10. So if this was a sale and um, you're in the shops, you'd be getting $10 off your shorts. Let's have a look at the next one. So in this one, we need to work out 8% of 16. So this might be for um, some sort of cross country track and we've found out that 8% of the track is um, like bush sort of stuff that you're gonna be running over and we wanna know how much of that now in kilometers is bush. So the same thing, we need to change that 8% into a fraction or a decimal. And so let's try doing it as a fraction this time. Remember percentages are just fractions in disguise. They're um, fractions that always have 100 on the bottom. So we can just write that as eight over 100. We multiply that by 16. Do that in your calculator and you get 1.28 as the answer. Now that answer is still in kilometers because the measurement we used at the start was in kilometers. So we've just worked out that 1.28 kilometers of this cross country track is bushland. One last example, this time we've got 134% of 30 minutes. So this might be for a test at school and we found out that someone um, sort of went over time. So rather than using up 100% of the time, which would be 30 minutes, they've actually used 134% of the time they were allocated. And so we wanna know um, how long did they actually run over their test time? So we do the same thing, we change this into a fraction. So um, let's try this as a decimal now. So we'd write that as 1.34 and then multiply that by 30. And so we get an answer of 40.2. And again, that would be in minutes because our original measurement was in minutes. Um, so they used a bit over 40 minutes for their test when they were allowed 30 minutes and so they've had an extra 10 minutes. But that's all you need to do when you're working out a quantity and you've got the percentage, you just multiply the percentage by the amount um, that you're interested in. You just need to remember to change